Okay, this is an easy problem. This is related to heat of hydrogenation of a carbonyl compound. So this says, give the resonating structure of 3-pentene 2 ohm. So we have to write the resonating structure of a molecule, 3-pentene 2 ohm. So this time we have 3-pentene 2 ohm. So let us write down the structures. C, C is 3. CH double bond CH and then you will have CS3. So this is 3 pentene 2 ohm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is pentene. At position number 2 have own group and position number 3 have in group. So this is 3 pentene 2 ohm. Now let us write down the resonating structure of this molecule. You can do this one. I think all of you can do. So let us take a small amount of time so that you can do this one. Yeah, your arrow is right. So what you have to do is, if this goes here and this goes here, so you will have CH3, then CH, and now again CH you will have, and then you will have double bond and CO minus because this goes here, so you will have three lone pair of electron on oxygen, and then you will have CH3. So this is the resonating structure of this molecule. This carbon will contain a formal charge plus. Now the second part of the question says, which would have a smaller delta H degree of heat of hydrogenation? So we have to find, which will have a smaller heat of hydrogenation? So we have two molecules. First is 3 pentene 2 ohm. So this will be this molecule, CH3, CH, double bond CH. And then I have CO, CH3. So that is 3 pentene 2 ohm. So let me write 3 pentene 2 ohm. So this is one molecule we have. Another molecule is 4 pentene 2 ohm. So we have 4 pentene. This means double bond I will have here. So CH2 double bond CH, CH, C double bond O, and then CH3. So you will have 4 pentene. Post number 1, 2, uh, 3. I have left one uh, carbon. So I have to count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there should be CH2 here. So you see this is person number 4, you have a double bond, so this is a 4 pentene. We are getting pentene, and we have 2 ohm. So now, question asks, which will have a high heat of hydrogenation? So which will have heat of hydrogenation will be high? Now if you, if you see, if you do hydrogenation, you will have finally the same compound. If you do hydrogenation of this compound, this double bond gets hydrogenated as well as this carbon oxygen bond gets hydrogenated. In this case also, the final product in both cases, if you do hydrogenation of this, so let us say molecule A, or let us say this molecule B. So if you do hydrogenation of A, H2PD, or if you do hydrogenation of B, H to PD, you will get the same compound. Are you getting or not? So you will get the compound CH3, CH2, CH2, and then COH, CH3, COH, HA also you will have, and then CH3. So you are getting the same compound. So you have to compare which will have high heat of hydrogenation. So let us call for this heat of hydrogenation energy is delta H1. For this heat of hydrogenation is delta H2. So you have to tell me which will be high heat of hydrogenation. So either delta H1 B is bigger or delta H2. So how will you do this one? So let us make the potential energy diagram. So if I had uh, hydrogen, the final product is same. So let us say potential energy, this side we have potential energy and this side we have a spaces. So you see, in this case, final product is same. So let us say potential energy of final product is here. So let us call this molecule as C. So this is the final product C. Now you see, in case of A, there are some resonating structure that is possible. So in case of A, Due to this, there is a regenerating structure possible. But in this case, there is no regenerating structure possible. So I can say A is more stable, B is less stable. 
so a is more stable so a will be somewhere here and b is less stable so b will be somewhere here now if you add hydrogen this will give this much amount of energy and this will give this much amount of energy are you getting so you clearly see so in case of 1 a i call it delta h1 and in this case i am calling this the delta h2 so clearly delta h2 is greater than delta h1 so delta h2 is greater than delta h1 so heat of hydrogenation of compound b that is the 4 pentane 2 ohm will be greater than 3 pentane 2 ohm so this is happening because of the extended resonance so in case of 3 pentane 2 ohm you have resonance but in case of 4 pentane 2 ohm you don't have resonance so resonance plays important role decreases the heat of hydrogenation energy and increases the stability of molecule i think all of you have copied this one we can go for the next problem quite easy problem so the concept so what is the concept related the concept is you must know heat of hydrogenation is how the heat of hydrogenation is proportional to stability if hydrogen heat of hydrogenation is less in this case heat of hydrogenation delta 1 is less delta h1 is less compound a is more stable so i can also result i can also have a result a stability is inversely proportional to heat of hydrogenation are you getting or not so heat of hydrogenation if you say it molecule will be less stable if heat of hydrogenation is less molecule will be more stable so there is an inverse relationship between stability and heat of hydrogenation we'll discuss the next problem